Hey everybody, so this is going to be my Ipsy bag unboxing for June 2015. I'm not sure what's going on with this hair here. It does not want to lay flat. <laughs> so just ignore that. Um, I received it about a week ago. I just haven't had a chance to film it yet, so. Here it is here. As always, I'll leave the link down below for Ipsy. It's $10 a month and it's definitely worthwhile. So this month's bag looks like this. It's just black with a red zipper. It's kind of cushy. Not my favorite bag, but I don't really do anything with these bags anyways. I still have yet to find her something to do with these bags. So, Anyways, the first product I see here is from Smashbox, and this is the Photo Finish Foundation Primer Oil Free. I've heard a lot of people on YouTube talk about this. I believe it's new. I think they had a primer, but then they, they launched a bunch of new primers. I could be wrong, but I'm excited to try this out. I always love trying new products and primers and things like that. I don't wear primers very often, just if I'm going to like a special event or I need my makeup to stay on all day, then I'll play around with them. So it's nice to have samples. The next product I see is from the company, I can smell it from here, Be Fine Food Skincare Cucumber Facial Mask. It's a pretty big size, so I'm excited about that. Again, like I said, I like trying out new products. That's the main reason I have the subscription, so I'm excited to try out this facial mask. You can smell the cucumber like like really far away, like I can smell it from here. So that should be interesting. The next product is Lip Titude 24-7 Hydrating Lip Stain. This is from JCat Beauty, I believe, and I'm looking for a color. Do, 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 do. I don't know, but that's what it looks like there. I haven't opened anything, any of these things or tried them out. I just looked at what was in my bag. Comes on like a flat kind of doe foot applicator like that. It looks like it's going to be very, yeah, very pigmented. It's like paint. There it is there. It has like a menthol scent to it. Very interesting. I'm not usually a fan of these like lip lacquer type products because I just feel like they're high maintenance. Oh, this darn hair. Um, but I mean, I'll try it out. It's not my favorite color either, so it's a whatever one. The next product is from Jules and Esther. That's a facial serum, a vitamin C facial serum. That's what the box looks like. Let's take it out. I have such a like a backlog of facial serums. I guess I haven't, I don't know, I get a lot in subscription services, but I actually haven't been using them a lot as well. I just, I don't know, if I can find time to put night cream on, I feel like that's a win, so I haven't even been bothering with serums. It's really big, that must be full size, because serums go a long, long way. Let's see if it has a scent. Oh yes, like fresh squeezed oranges, so that's nice. If I find time to use it, I will. And the last product is, oh weird, the lid looks like part of the product. It's um, Trey Teak, and it's a mini shadow crayon in the color Marmi Marimoto Pink Pearl. So the packaging is kind of unique. That's the lid, and it looks like the product. And then pull it up, and it screws up like that. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, that's so pretty that color. It's got a nice sheen, but it's so neutral at the same time. Ooh. It's very, um, like, lightweight. I don't feel like that's going to crease. That's so neutral. You could just put that all, all over the lid and it doesn't really look like a color, but it's got a, ni a nice glisten to it. I'm excited for that. So yeah, those are my products in this month's Ipsy bag. So the eyeshadow, the serum, the lip product, which is whatever. Meh the um, primer and the facial mask. So I hope you guys enjoy uh, and let me know what you got in your Ipsy bag if you received this service as well, as well in a comment down below and thanks so much for watching. Bye!